What's up guys? Welcome to the one year update on my 180 gallon Peninsula reef tank. Uh, it's been a year, so I thought it'd be nice to sort of give an update on where the tank is and where I'm going with it and where it's been. So the tank sits uh, Peninsula style, dividing our kitchen from our living room, which was the plan all along. Convinced my wife it would be a good idea, and she loves it. At least she tells me she does. Um, if you're not familiar, you haven't been keeping up, the tank is uh, standard Perfecto 180, uh, drilled for a Synergy Reef overflow with a bean animal drain. It's great, it is silent, except, and um, it's nobody's fault, but the, it is a little bit of a pain when your sump is in the basement. If you make any adjustments to the flow, um, you have to run up and down the stairs to fix the gate valve, to adjust the gate valve, unless I can trick my nine-year-old daughter into helping me out. Um, can be a bit of a pain. But it is silent, which is great, when you get it dialed in correctly. The only thing I really hear is a little bit of pump noise and a little bit of fan noise from the lights. There's uh, three Kessel A360s and four 80-watt T5s. The T5s come on for about five hours a day. And then I just put in four of these actinic strip uh, LEDs just for a little bit more pop in the morning and at night. Uh, the Kessels are great. They give off a great shimmer. Um, you can even see it now with the T5s on. When the T5s are off, it's even better. But um, there's just not as much pop as you would see with like a Reef Bright strip. So I just wanted to add just a little bit more blue pop, especially in the morning and at night. And it really makes the corals glow, which I love. It's one of my favorite times. Sort of after the Kessels go down, they're on a timer or, you know, on the Kessel controller and the T5s go off. I actually just turned the T5s on for this video. They're usually off at this time. It's about 7 o'clock at night. The tank is predominantly SPS. I'll just sort of run through it here quickly. I was dealing with some acro-eating flatworms recently, and I took all the SPS corals out and dipped the crap out of them with Bayer, and uh, it seems to have worked. Everything is colorful, more colorful than it's ever been. Even, you know, the purple tips on some of these didn't look like that before. Um, the, the polyp extension on some of the millies and even the color and growth on the Slimer, which has always been pretty robust, it's... Um, encrusting on the rocks. Everything is encrusting and growing like crazy. I actually need to start fragging stuff for the first time since the tank's been set up, um, which is great. The LPS are all doing great. That Duncan just keeps getting bigger and bigger. The uh, torch coral is not happy right now. I think one of the snails crawled over it. This orange cap, uh, I just I literally just threw it down there to get it out of the way and it's now taking over the bottom corner of the tank, so I'll have to do something about that. The green cap is growing into the glass, so that's going to have to get fragged soon. Um, which I guess is a good problem to have, that the corals are growing so much that I need to frag them. But it's uh, beautiful in here. It's exactly what we wanted when we set out to make a peninsula tank. As low energy consumption as possible. There's the Max Spec Gyre XF150, the upgraded model. It's awesome. I love it. Strongly support the Gyre. I think it's fantastic. Uh, Max Spec has done a great job sort of upgrading it as they've gone along. The fish are all super healthy. There is ick in the tank. Um, I've had a pro some problems adding new fish, but the fish that are in here are healthy. And so I'm in this position where. I don't want to mess with anybody um, because they're doing so well. I don't want to pull them all out and try and do an eight-week quarantine. Um, especially, you know, the, even the hippo tang, doing great. Um, all the tangs are doing great. So at this point, uh, any fish I add, I do run the risk of them contracting the ick because it's there and I know it. But um, it's tough because everyone's doing so well and I don't want to stress them out further by trying to tear apart the whole tank to get them out. So... At this point, I'm just going to enjoy who's in here, and we'll try and be very careful about adding new fish. Sort of the end view. You can see the LEDs up there. And I'll take you guys downstairs and run you through sort of the heart of the system and what runs it. All right, we are downstairs, and I am standing directly under where the tank is sitting. Uh, it's actually right here, sort of uh, the end of the tank is near that I-beam. 
And the plumbing all comes downstairs right through the floor there. The three drain lines and then the return line is the vinyl tubing. And the plumbing comes over here. And I put the, the T in here so that if I wanted to do a water change out of the refugium, I'll show you the refugium in a second, I could just isolate it by closing off the T's, use just this as the sump, and then to change the water without having to turn the return pump off. Um, so the water comes down here, here's the gate valve that I'm constantly having to mess with anytime I make changes to the flow upstairs, which can be a little bit of a pain, but it's worth it because the, the drain is so silent. The water drains into here, which is my uh, remote refugium. I've got some mangroves growing in here. Eventually these guys are going to go upstairs. I want to do a mangrove tank in the window that's plumbed into the system. But there's some dragon's breath and uh, catamorpha and calerpa growing in here. And it grows like crazy. This light I picked up on eBay does very well. And the fans um, just connected to the apex comes on when it gets too hot in the summer. Water travels into here. I have some live rock, chunks of live rock just kind of hanging out down here. Reef octopus skimmer, which is loud uh, and was a problem when the sump was under the tank, but now that it's down here in the basement, uh, I don't care, it doesn't matter. See, it works great. As you can see, it's getting a ton of skimmate. Um, there's also a float switch in the lid to shut it off uh, through the apex if it gets overflows. Uh, Jabo DCS 9000 return pump. It's just barely enough um, for the system, and at some point I'll upgrade it to something bigger, but it's been on there for a year and it's been working. So the water comes up here, it takes a left turn, goes through the manifold, um, carbon. There's nothing in this reactor right now, just running clean water through it just so that it doesn't get gross. And then the uh, UV sterilizer, which has worked well but I noticed some rust forming on the inside of it, which is a pro known problem with these, so I am getting rid of it and I'll get something more, something better and more reliable. And then the water travels back upstairs through there. Uh, I installed a vent fan that comes on every two hours uh, just to uh, deal with humidity down here. Um, we're eventually gonna finish this part of the basement and this will be a separate room, in which case the vent fan will only have to deal with one room, which will be good. And then the apex. Wires are a bit of a mess. And I just use this tablet to control everything through Apex Fusion. Two JBO dosing pumps. One of them is doing alkalinity, calcium, nopox, and Kelkwasser. And the other does the Red Sea Coral Colors program. Five mils of each. Uh, I started doking, dosing Kelkwasser to try to offset some of the alkalinity demand. And it also helps to keep, keep the pH up because the pH can get down around uh, 7.7 seven or 7.8 seven, down here. There's a lot of carbon dioxide in the basement. Um, so I've been dosing kelp to try and help offset the pH. I also use an air stone in the refugium and the bubbler is near sort of some fr a source of fresh air um, in the basement where the vent fan actually goes out. And so yeah, so this is sort of my uh, workshop. I'll give you a broad view. Uh, bulk reef supply. Um, six stage water saver plus with 150 gallon per day upgrade fills up the, one of those barrels the other one's for salt water utility sink i found on the side of the road which was great well, that's it it's the tank it's been a year it's been crazy how much stuff oh and just a extra quarantine tank down here that i clearly didn't use now that i have ick in the tank upstairs Um, but that's it. That's the tank. A year. So, thanks for watching.